Hi, welcome to my channel, Read a Woman. My name is Judy, and let's talk tags. I have another tag I thought that I would do called the Classics Tag. Uh, the first question, an overhyped classic you really didn't like. Okay, The Great Gatsby. <laughs> I uh, read it for my book club recently, and I just could not see what all the fuss was and bother it was about. Yes, it was written nicely, um, but I thought the story really wasn't that good. I mean, uh, it seemed very sad. Um, I don't know, but everybody's like, oh, The Great Gatsby. So, <laughs> I did not enjoy it at all, at all. Uh, favorite time period to read about? Um, I'm a 1920s person. That is my real love. I love um, that time period, um, well, really from 1900 to the 1920s, the, um, that shift of society from you know, fairly conservative to ending up with the flapper era, uh, the whole um, disenfranchisement that uh, of having to go through World War One, and it just seems like a really creative time in uh, literature and, and other endeavors, but in particular literature. Um, you know, my three greats are from that time, um, James Joyce. I started reading him in high school and, uh, and realized I need to pick him up again. Um, uh, Virginia Woolf, not my greatest love. I always held it against her that she did not help support James Joyce when he needed it. Uh, she and her press, uh, Hogarth Press, could have definitely printed something of his, uh, but she chose not to. She was an English snob and uh, thought that he, you know, was just an Irish upstart. <laughs> so, yes, I like her, but she is not my, not my heart person. Um, and then there's Gertrude Stein. <laughs> of course, everyone loves the autobiography of Alice B. Toklas. Uh, totally readable, lovely, gives you great background on uh, Gertrude Stein and her lover, Alice B. Toklas. Uh, it also gave, gives a huge um, look into the art going on at the time, both from Picasso, Matisse, um, da 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 da. Anybody who was any, everybody who was anybody was there. So, um, uh, she, she like, uh, Joyce, I started reading, um, in high school. Um, she is a very flawed writer. There's absolutely no doubt about it. <laughs> she was wealthy enough that she didn't need to have an editor, <laughs> which was a really bad idea <laughs> to just think that you could write and everything that you wrote was gold. So that's not the case. Um, however, I will mention her again later in this tag. All right. Um, favorite fairy tale. Oh, back to 1920 though. Then you have, um, the fascinating, uh, literature that came out of Africa during that time too. Um, uh, Elizabeth Huxley. I love her, her, her biographies. I mean, I, I don't know exactly what you call it, but her nonfiction, um, you know, you have the character Beryl Markham, you have Isaac Dennison, um, and then it just kind of goes on. I've kind of collected, uh, women authors throughout that time period. So, uh, yeah, it's, it was a fascinating, exciting time and a lot was going on. Um, favorite Favorite fairy tale? Hmm. I 
I guess Rapunzel. <laughs> Off the top of my head, I would say Rapunzel. I uh, I had a really nice copy of the Grimm's fairy tales that were not sanitized for children, and uh, so Cinderella was always a little bit bloodier than I would prefer. Uh, so yeah, I think Rapunzel and the fact that a young woman could choose, you know, I mean, obviously she was being controlled by that nasty witch, but um, she also you know, chose to let her soon-to-be boyfriend climb up that hair to visit her in the castle. So, uh, yeah, I'd say Rapunzel. Uh, what is the classic you're most embarrassed about having not read? Um, Moby Dick. <laughs> I have not really loved the American literature scene, either at the, from the very beginning or <laughs> I, I am better on current authors. Uh, however, I have great gaping holes uh, in my uh, classic uh American literature. So, yes, I am embarrassed I haven't read Moby Dick. Um, top five classics you would like to read? Well, we know one, <laughs> Moby Dick. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess I would call it a classic. Uh, but it's a little bit more complicated than just reading it. But um, I was robbed in high school of my Latin education, and I only got two years of Latin because my Latin teacher retired after my freshman year. And um, in order to get my language requirements for college, which was only two years at that time, I think, anyways, uh, my the vice principal decided that he was not going to um, tutor me after the one year. So that was pretty hard. And um, I was trying to get back to it because I have this dream of reading Julius Caesar's The Gallic Wars. And I want enough Latin to be able to read it. I find it, the idea very fascinating. And um, so we'll see. <laughs> That may be a little bit more challenging. Um, let's see here. Some other, uh, so I have two there. Um, well, I'm going to count it as three. I have not read all the Shakespeare plays. I've read a good portion of them, but I haven't read them all. And I would like to read them all before I'm dead and gone. <laughs> so, um, all of Shakespeare. It would be good to have that under my belt. Um, let's see here. Well, no, well, okay, that would be considered rereading. Um, well, I would like to read more of um, Virginia Woolf. So um, I haven't read all of hers either. Um, so let's just say Orlando. That's one I can think of. And for one more, um, hmm, Chaucer. I would like to read all of the Canterbury Trails, all the Canterbury Tales. So, and I have a wonderful volume that's in the Old English with the English on the other side. So, um, and even if I'm not able to make it through all of it, I would like to at least make it one through one section. So that would be the fifth. Um, let's see here. Uh, favorite modern book or series based on a classic. Favorite modern book 
or series based on a classic. Oh, oh, um, The Song of Achilles. That was amazing, Reed. I, it touched me so much and it actually kind of cleared up a lot of my problems that I always had with the Iliad. I mean, I remember reading that in college and going, what a brat that Achilles is. So, um, Madeline Miller did a brilliant job. Um, not just in uh, making sense of what uh, or why Achilles was doing what he was doing, but also, um, you know, who knows if that uh, true love affair was, you know, correct between Achilles and Patroclus, but it kind of makes sense. Um, and that was very beautiful. So I highly recommend that read if you haven't gotten a copy of that. Um, favorite movie or TV series based on a classic? Um, well, I have to say, I thought Clueless was adorable based on uh, Jane Austen's Emma. Uh, <laughs> it just hit a real, um, you know, but it was kind of a remake. Yeah, I'll call it. I'll call it. Clueless. Uh, worst classic to movie adaptation. Okay. A Wrinkle in Time. After seeing the <laughs> new Wrinkle in Time that just came out in 2018, I am coming to the conclusion that it is impossible to make a great movie from this book. I've been rereading it, but I put it down, I picked it up, I put it down. It hasn't held my interest the way I thought it would. Um, and, you know, I'm, I am going to do uh, another thing on A Wrinkle in Time, but I'm not sure if it held up as well as I thought it did. Um, it could be partly why the movies don't work is because of, you know, the material. I just don't know. Anyways, I need to reread it and I'll get back to you on that. Um, favorite edition you'd like to collect more classics from? One has a beautiful little set of hardback of Jane Austen that I would absolutely die for. <laughs> I just have been spending too much money on books, so I don't think that I will be getting those right now. But um, I, uh, I really, really have. I thought they were beautiful, although they seem to be missing one, uh, Pride and Prejudice. Uh, so I'm a little confused by that. Maybe I just haven't seen it uh, advertised. Oh, and the other one I really want to collect um, are the Loeb Classics. Oh my gosh, the little red editions. It has the Latin on one side and the English translation on the other. Yeah, I would love to. And they're like 26 bucks a piece. It's hard being a book lover. <laughs> We're constantly poor. <laughs> All right, and then an underhyped classic you'd recommend to everyone. And this may surprise you. But um, I need you to hold on just a second. I will get my copy of it. Everybody's Autobiography by Gertrude Stone. I was blown away by this book. Like I said, her, you know, Autobiography of Alice B. Toklas, 
charming, witty, you know, fun, and it propelled her to great fame. And this book is her reflections on that fame. But even more so than that, it is a book that I, I, I did recently read and it amazed me because of, I've never read a book that the author, to such an extent, that an author is saying how fast you're going to read this. Um, she definitely um, wrote this in a way that you have to read at the tempo that she is putting on you as a reader. Um, I fought it. <laughs> I hated it at times. and But unlike most of her work, which is darn near illegible, um, this one is very simple. Um, but she just does this brilliant job of pacing. And, um, you know, I, I don't know. I was had a section earmarked, but I don't know that. Um, well, let me read this here. Uh, what are the ideas that are important? I asked him. Here, said he, is the list of them. I took the list and looked it over. Ah, I said, I noticed that none of the books read at any time by them was originally written in English. That was in was that intentional, I asked him. No, he said, but in English there have really been no ideas expressed. Then I gather that to you there are no ideas which are not sociological or government ideas. Well, are they, he said. Well, yes, I said. Government is the least interesting thing in human life. Creation and the expression of that creation is a damn sight more interesting. Yes, I know, and I began to get excited. Yes, I know. Naturally, you are teachers, and teaching is your occupation. And naturally, what you call ideas are easy to teach. And so, you are convinced that they are the only ideas but the real ideas are not the rel relation of human beings as groups, but a human being to himself, inside himself. And that is an idea that is more interesting than humanity in groups. After all, the minute that there are a lot of them, they do not do it for themselves, but somebody does it for them, and that is a darn sight less interesting. Her use of commas are very rare, far between. Um, you have to read at her pace. And it was a fascinating experience. So um, I don't know that people call this a classic. I think that they should. I think that Gertrude Stein is worth a try. And this is definitely one of the books that I think um, should be on my reading list. So I hope you've enjoyed this tag and um, I hope that anyone who hasn't actually gotten the classic tag done, it's your turn. <laughs> uh, have a great evening and we'll talk books soon. Bye.